The Tesla Model 3, the brand's second best-selling vehicle, has been heavily updated for 2024 to be more refined, quieter, and more feature-rich. We've covered all the car's changes, reviewed the new interior, tested the standard range and dual motor long range, compared them with competitors, and dived deep into the chassis updates. But among all the new stuff, perhaps the first thing Tesla fans and newbies alike will notice is the touchscreen display for the rear seats. Located just above the redesigned rear air vents on the back of the central console slash tunnel, the screen measures the same 8.0 inches in size as the one found in the rear cabin of 2021 and later Model S sedans and Model X SUVs. It offers many of the same non-driving specific functions available to front seat occupants through the main 15.4-inch screen, accessed in the back via a non-persistent menu along the bottom of the screen. Swipe up from the bottom to make the menu appear when you're in an app, which may have its own menu. Let's take a closer look. The rear touchscreen allows rear passengers to move the front passenger seat forward to increase legroom. With so many previous Gen Model 3s being pressed into rideshare service, it's a handy feature to make sure taller folks aren't as cramped. Just tap the seat you want to warm, and the heat comes on. Tap multiple times to select the level of heating through three steps. You can also turn off the seat heating in one tap to one or, if they're both on, two seats with the button in the upper left of the screen. Previously, the Tesla Model 3's rear air vents were conventional units with physical tabs for directing the air up, down, left, and right. Those are now replaced by electronic ones like those up front, meaning if you want to change the airflow's direction, you need to use the rear screen. It's simple if needlessly complicated. Simply swipe the image of airflow to choose where the air goes. You can also select from predetermined high, medium, or low heights. Fan speed is controlled via the arrows in the lower left of the main menu bar. Sadly, there's no rear seat climate zone so temperature control remains in the hands of the folks up front. Access the volume slider by tapping the speaker icon in the main menu bar. Sound from the rear screen is limited to only the rear speakers, but we can attest to it being able to get very, very loud. Riders can also pair Bluetooth headphones to keep the audio to themselves. As you might expect, the screen can also control music playback through the rear speakers or paired Bluetooth headphones. Yes, you can do these things on the large screen up front but only when parked. The rear screen now means you or your rear passengers, anyway, can stream on the move. We watched an episode of Roadkill on YouTube, streamed Asuka and Disney+, Plus, and checked what was popular on Netflix. As for Hulu, we tried to get our Hulu Plus live TV subscription working. One editor's favorite college football team was playing, but ended up in an endless login loop due to Hulu's need for location services to be active. Given we couldn't do so within the Tesla's simplistic screen, no football for us.